Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm back again. And I just want us to have a, a discussion as we read the word of God. And since we are talking about relationship things, I don't want to go very far from that. So I want to address a certain group of people today. This, this, this important group in the society, some people, maybe they feel as if they are too late before they are married. Nikama, nikama miaka imezidi. Mtu amefikisha thati ya naona mabishti wake wate wameolewa, badu ye, badu. Majama wamefikisha 35, badu hana mtu anaona mabishti wamesha pata ma, ma wives ya mebaki. But these people are so important by the way in, the, in our society. And I have a word for you people. Number one, know that you have come from very far to give up. And do not lose hope because it's not according to God's word to lose hope. It's against God's will, by the way, to lose hope. When we look uh, in the Bible, in the book of Joshua 1, Joshua 1 verse 9, it says that, Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous, do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Number one step, do not, do not lose hope. It's against the will of God to lose hope. In every situation you are going through, actually, not only because of relationships, in every situation that you are going through, do not lose hope. The word of God, I kukubalish, you lose hope. When you feel like you want to lose hope, go back to the word of God and be encouraged in him. Are we together? <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> and again, the word of God also in the book of Isaiah 34. Isaiah 34 verse 16. You'll see the word of God says, saying that look in the scroll of the Lord and read. None of these will be missing and not one will lack her mate. So let's all agree that no, na, neither of us will lack a mate. So there's your partner somewhere. Ni vile tu labda hamjapatana ama alipatwa na mwingine hako kwa relationship ingine mbaya kwa sababu hamjapatana but there's no one who is who was created with no mate. There's your partner in this world. Partner wako ako. So wale wanasemanga juu ribi yangu mi na onanga nika ilikunywa supu, nika ilichemushwa. <laughs> your rib is still there. Your rib is still there. Usidanga nyike. The Bible says that neither of us will lack a mate. But I think that there's something that we are missing. There's something that we, ma we, 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 we might have been missing. Because we've interacted with these people and you find that wengine wanakwambe they've been in relationships. Some of, some of them, they've been in marriages, but they break. Relationships, they may break. Marriages, they may break. Wengine wame toka hapo wakiwa so hard. And uh, most of them say that, ile mambo nilifanyiwa, ile character development nilipigwa. Me, I don't believe that marriage can work. I don't believe that I'm made for any relationship. <laughs> and you see these people, wakona magrages, mtu wamebeba ile uchungu alitokana kwa ile relationship. Unapatata mengia kwa ingine tu na, na, na ile tu uchungwe ya, ku, ya from the other relationship. But it can never work that way. It can never that work that way. Whenever we have the grudges in us, do you know what those grudges do? Bitterness starts now growing from us due to those grudges that we have from our previous relationships, from our previous marriages maybe that zili break. And this, this bitterness comes along with so many emotions. Inakuja na anger, inakuja na rejection. You feel rejected and now you think that every other person is rejecting you. You don't feel loved in the society. You feel even the urge to revenge. This is where by now you find people killing one another. Napata watu waliachana and the ex amepatwazjua amelala wapi amesha uliwa because of these emotions that come along with this bitterness. But let me tell you, these emotions, all this bitterness, it will not change the situation that you're in, and it will not even change the person who caused the situation. It will not change them. In any case, you just live as they just live. When you see this person and you feel like vomiting, you feel like fainting, 
wow maisha yao inaendelea but now you live as a slave of them which is very wrong it's not according to god's will and one of the things that these emotions come to do to us they will change you they will change your character and you'll find that they spill over to the people now who are around you you find a single person and maybe you have a baby unapata sasa zile emotions unaziachilia kwa mtoto wako na mtoto hajakosea but because of the bitterness that you came with you came along carrying from the relationship now you are spilling over to your children to your family members let me tell you the bible relate the bible inasemanga bitterness in i relate na poison that is what the word says bitterness is like a poison but let's go to the book of ephesians 4:31 and see what the word is telling us to do in that case Ephesians 4 verse 31 The Bible says that get rid of all this bitterness rage and anger blowing and slander along with every form of malice be kind and passionate to one another forgiving each other just as Christ God forgave you So his bitterness zote ile kukua heart umehatiwa from the previous relationship I don't know by who by who the only thing that you can do is just forgive them just forgive them and move on rather than live you you live your life as a slave of someone else who is living their life to the fullest just forgive them just as god forgave you you just pray to god that you will be able to forgive them because that is what god wants us to do praise the name of the lord but also we are not going to ignore now the other fact most of, of of those people who are mefikisha hiyo miaka they feel as if they want to lose hope there's a group that wana semani from the relationship all this bitterness whatever whatever e yenye tume handle but there's some some something more if you look at your relationships maybe zenye zime break maybe there's a pattern unaona ime ime imeingia kwa the first relationship the second one the third one maybe kuna mali unaona mnafika hiyo ina break ya pili mnaanza vizuri unaona imefika the same place ama the same thing happens unaona ime ime break so i think you need to to check the previous relationships uone ni nini zinafanya zi break is it you or is it the people you are dating and maybe now you try to approach the other relationship in a different angle number one, my husband mentioned badu hapa akasema that you don't start existing as a husband when you you get a wife you first exist as a husband before you get a wife for ladies you first exist as a wife before you are married to a man number one, if you are a man are you ready to be responsible even before you get married are you ready to be responsible are you ready to be faithful If you know that you cannot be faithful to one wife you better stay you better stay single ladies are you ready to submit to your husbands and also for you are you ready to be faithful and let and and most people misquote submission <laughs> submission is not at una unaingia to marriage unakaliwa na 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 the husband everything he says you 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 believe so no submission hata ukiangalia kwa biblia it simply means in a respectful manner changing your husband's opinion if need arises your husband might say you do you do this thing na maybe haifai ama maybe you need you need maybe to bring also your your opinion you don't bring it out in a non respectful manner you bring it out you make it understood in a respectful manner that is simply submission imagine submission is very easy <laughs> very easy very very easy actually it just ni kama tu ku show respect to your husband hata mkipata pesa labda anataka kufanya hivi na wewe unataka mfanye hivi si tunamwambia wewe ufikiri angi at least you only watoto school fees unafikiria tu kuja no 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 you don't do that you just change the opinion in a respectful manner you come to an understanding 
I hope we are understanding one another. Tunaelewana. I was say, I, I was saying now that after you look now to these patterns then you may break your relationship the previous relationships you try now to approach the other relationship in a different angle. I've said, if you're not ready to submit as a woman, don't at actually think about marriage. Because if the vitu zinafanya marriages, they break. Una ingetua into marriage, na kuna vitu unasema, mi, mi, bonangu wa hezi niambia. Mi, bonangu wa hezi niambia. One month, musha break up. So start preparing yourself in your singlehood to live as a wife. And again, there are some things that we ignore. There are some thing, things that we ignore when we are dating ama but tukiwa in our singlehoods. Tunajipata, tuna ignore the issues of compatibility sana. You don't just get into a relationship and you just stay without knowing that person. You know these things of culture. People are, are in relationships. You don't want to speak about your culture. Huyu ni wahi tribe, huyu ni wahi tribe, muambiani watoto wakwetu wanakuwa circumcised. Wakwenu wakui circumcise. Time tutapata watoto, tutafuata gani. People are not talking about these things. We are not talking about our religion. I'm a Catholic. You are a, Pente you are a Pentecostal believer. When we get married, which, which faith will we follow? What wa waongei kuhusu hizi vitu? And you find now that you get into marriage without having an agreement over these issues, zinaleta conflict. And you find that the marriage is not working. So, within this period of dating, time a relationship, let's discuss about this issue. Let's discuss about our visions. Let's make these things to be compatible. To kwe mambo ya culture to me solve mambo ya lazin to kienda kuinge into marriage, we are so much compatible. Let's look on onto these things. Remember that it's not according to God's will to lose hope. Remember that. Don't carry bitterness. It's poison according to the word of God. Just forget and forgive. You, you might not forget. You might live with that scar, but I nukiyona ujikwasabulisha sameheana. May the Lord bless you so much. I know that we are going to bear great fruits out of this, and we are going to celebrate God for your marriages. May the Lord bless you. Let's believe as we pray. Father Lord, we thank you for this wonderful moment. Thank you for this chance, O oh God. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of all these people, o King of all glory. I pray, Jehovah, that you're going to elevate them, O oh God. If any one of them is passing through something, Lord, may you come through for them, King of all glory. Anyone who's bitter, King of Almighty, may you come, Lord, and help them to forgive those who have caused the bitterness in them in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who are trusting in you for marriages, Lord, may you direct them to their, to their right partners. May you, um, may, may you, King of all glory, make the relationship to work. May you be in them in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray and we give you glory. Amen, 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 amen. Thank you, amen. Thank, you thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you so much. Across all social media platforms. So if you have any other question or you want to follow up on a particular topic, just mm -hmm. DM them and there will be a blessing in your life. There's something that he has shared and God is just prompting me to share with you guys. Mm -hmm. When it comes to bitterness and that anger. In 2021, I broke up with my... Well, my fiance, <laughs> we broke up and it was so bitter and yes. I was, became so bitter and angry. And one thing that helped me, I went to God with it. Yeah, exactly. I just said, God, I bring you this bitterness. Mm. God, I bring you this anger. Mm. God, you deal with it. Mm. And one thing I can tell you is that God healed me proper. Amen. And three things I learned from that breakup. Mm. Who am I? Where am I going? And who I want to go with mm -hmm. on that journey? Those are very three key things that can even help you when you're going through a breakup and we want to begin a new journey. Three mm. questions. Who are you? You need to know who you are. Mm. Where are you going as a person? Mm. And on this journey, whom do you want to tag along with? Mm -hmm. And that you're going to go with that person for the rest of your life and you're never going to regret. Mm -hmm. And you need to be ready for this journey. Okay. Mm.